Hello and welcome to another episode of Coffee Fusion. This week we're going to look at how to pour a rainbow latte. Hey guys, so this has been one of those trends that's been rolling around for a few months now and at first I thought I was just going to leave it be because I tried using food colouring uh, in a video a few years ago now and um, although it looked kind of cool, when I drank the cup of coffee I ended up with a, uh, a pink tongue and so I thought, look, this isn't something that you're ever going to use in coffee, so I just let it die. But people have been saying that they use this technique to practice latte out without using coffee. So from that point of view, I thought I'd give it a try and do a little tutorial on how you can use this to practice your latte out. So first of all, how do you get that food colouring into your uh, pitcher? Now you have to do it quite quickly because otherwise the foam starts to separate and it's really hard to pour um, without giving it a good swirl again. Obviously with the food colouring, if you do that, it all kind of mushes together. But anyway, I just used some straws. So I just kind of dabbed them in the food colouring and painted it on in a line and that got me going. Now with the base that you're pouring into, I tried a couple of different things, but the thing that seemed to work the best was to just pour a little bit of your hot textured milk into the bottom of the cup before you add the dye. And so from here, just start pouring. Now the thing I found that worked the best was to actually give the jug a swirl anyway. It did mix up those lines a little bit, but if you don't give your jug a swirl, as you know when you're pouring normal latte art, uh, it all separates and it won't really pour onto the pattern properly. Now as you can see when you start pouring Rosetta style patterns, it does give you a good guide as to how the milk is flowing into the cup and from that point of view it could be a good training tool. But as for how it pours itself, it does pour really differently to how you would pour into coffee and from that point of view I think it is a good bit of fun to uh, play around with but not really the best way to uh, train yourself to pour your latte out better. Having seen that guys, I did have a lot of fun um, playing around with this, so um, give it a shot yourselves, tag me in any photos, but in the meantime, let's have a look at a few different pours with this uh, rainbow latte art style. Thanks so much for watching guys. So as I've said before, um, have you tried doing this before? Um, what was your technique? Did you have a bit more success than I did? I do want to shout out two Instagram accounts which I think are using this really, really well. Um, first of all, Dan to Mang 3 Now Dan was the first guy I saw that was doing uh, these uh, patterns with the food coloring. Doesn't mean he was the person who made it up. Um, I'm sure it's been all over the internet and probably people have been doing it for years but it just became really popular this year. Now the other guy that's doing really good videos is Warming Up Latte Art. He actually pours the food colouring in and then pours a pattern and the colours change as he's pouring and he uses that to really good effect. So guys check out those two on Instagram if you want to learn a little bit further about this uh, food colouring latte art. And as I was saying, if you do try it, uh, hashtag Coffee Fusion or tag at the Coffee Fusion on Instagram and then I'll be able to see it. Thanks guys and I hope you have a lot of fun with this. If this is your first video, um, Coffee Fusion runs twice a week on YouTube and it's at the Coffee Fusion on Instagram. There's Coffee Fusion on Snapchat for behind the scenes. Basically, it's a uh, online coffee place where you can learn a lot about coffee. So hit subscribe if you want more of that. Uh, check out the social media networks, but I'll see you on Thursday for another Latte Art compilation. Bye.
if they don't, then I won't let it get to me.